And that was Gina Swanson reporting. And joining us now is political analyst Dr. Silas Lee, also a professor for Xavier University. Dr. Silas, first of all, I want to get your reaction to the death of former Mayor Landrieu. Well, certainly everyone is shocked and surprised, but I think his legacy is very telling in the sense that Moon Landro will be recognized for being a visionary, a courageous person, and a progressive person. He was the first elected official in the Deep South in a very, very segregated society that ushered in an interracial election coalition that brought him the political strength and um, victories that other white elected candidates could not uh, secure. So for those reasons, his legacy will, uh, I think, linger not only for his savvy in terms of politics, but his vision in terms of developing the CBD, the um, parts of the French Quarter, the French market, he even pushed for the, for the funding for the Dome Stadium. So that almost everything you see in terms of much of the development of New Orleans has the footprint and the fingerprints of former Mayor Moon Landrieu. And Dr. Lee, we heard Gina talk about this in her piece, but he received back in 1970 99% of the black vote, and he knew exactly what was going on when it came to the civil rights movement and, and what was going on in the Deep South during the Jim Crow era. But through it all, he was still brave to say, you know what, I'm still going to continue to, to pick these high-ranking first African-American city officials uh, to my cabinet and also do other things moving forward. That was major, seeing what he was doing way back then. Yes, he was at the arc of history and he recognized that society was changing in spite of opposition he also recognized the fact that as society changed the government and the institutions of society had to flow with the demographic changes that many people did not encourage or accept so he brought society to a place it needed to be that took courage that took leadership and also took a lot of uh, strength in terms of dealing with the negative reaction he had to live through and experience. But in the long run, it is part of his legacy that people remember and respect him for. That is so critical that he took those steps. And he had a very good mentor in, the, in Dr. Norman Francis, the former president of Xavier University. They were former law school classmates and he and Dr. Francis developed a professional as well as a personal relationship that helped him to navigate these turbulent social, political, and economic times. Dr. Lee, lastly, of course, not only was uh, former Mayor Landrieu important to people of the city of New Orleans, but he was also major for his two children, uh, who also eventually began uh, doing things in, in office uh, as a senator, and also, of course, Mitch Landrieu as the mayor of New Orleans as well. Uh, what do you want people who did not grow up back then and really understood what uh, Mr. Landrieu, what he did for the city, what is the biggest things besides what he did for the black community in the city? What are some other big things you want folks to really understand about this longing legacy of former Mayor Landrieu? What he did was he planted the seeds for a lot of the political and social leadership of this city. Uh, they started under the Landry administration or even afterwards, whereby they were nurtured, they were exposed to the process, political as well as economic. And by planting those seeds, not only with his children, but other political and social leaders, we are living in a city that is benefiting from his strength, his knowledge, and the people that he was able to mentor for future roles in society. Dr. Lee, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us about former Mayor Landrieu. Thank you so much for your time. and look forward to talking to you uh, later on down the road thank in the you. future. You're welcome. Also, some new information when it comes to the reaction of the death of Mr. Landrieu is from the City Council President Helena Marrero. She's released the following statement on the loss of former Mayor Moon Landrieu. It says, in part, Moon never stopped serving, mentoring countless civic and political leaders, lending his time and attention to causes here at home and across the world. He has left an incredible mark on our city and will be greatly missed. Again, Moon Landrieu dead at the age of 92. All right, happening now.